Hey everybody, Bohush here, the casual expert speaking for photodeoxpro.com. And in this video, I want to show you the Pronto lens adapter, a lens adapter that will autofocus pretty much any lens you attach to it, no matter how old that lens is. And the way it works is the uh, Pronto has a built-in mechanism that will physically move the lens forwards and backwards. It communicates with the autofocus system in your Sony camera. And together, they will figure out exactly where that lens needs to be to nail autofocus. And it works nearly as fast as a native Sony lens. And uh, we've been saying that you can use old lenses too, but how old can you go? This lens is 120 years old. This is a Bausch & Lomb lens. It may be the first lens Kodak sold on some of their big box cameras. But uh, can we get autofocus with a 120-year-old lens? I have a feeling, yeah. I'm going to show you how. Okay, folks, follow me on this one because this gets a little extreme. On the back of the lens, I've attached an M42 thread adapter. Uh, basically, this rear section was so close in size to this thread adapter, I just epoxied this in. But don't worry, if I ever put this back in a box camera, it's somewhere you can't see it. But I've got this M42 screw thread on here now, and I'm using an M42 to a Pentax adapter. I just screw that on thusly, like so. Now I take this guy and I attach it to the front of a focusing bellows, which is Pentax to Pentax, of course. This is because the, uh, the throw of this lens is quite long. It's, it's on one of those old box cameras, so you need a lot of distance so that the lens will actually work. Now on the back, this is a Pentax lens mount, so I'll attach a Pentax to Leica M adapter thusly. Okay, now we're ready to go. Now this brings up an important point. This setup, this lens, let's call it, is just about two pounds. And two pounds is the limit of what the Pronto can handle. Uh, if you go heavier than that, it's not going to work. It's not going to be able to smoothly move the lens forwards and backwards. And you could fatigue the motors that are built inside the adapter, which is not covered by the warranty. So make sure whatever your experimental kooky lens is that you're attaching to the Pronto, make sure that this part weighs less than two pounds. So now we can attach my lens assembly to the Pronto adapter, like so like that. And now we attach the whole mechanism to the camera. Snap on the camera. As you can see, the Pronto is moving the lens back and forth. We are ready to shoot. Now, because this is an unusual lens and an unusual case, you're going to have to manually adjust infinity focus here. Once you find that and lock it into place on the focusing bellows, then the Pronto will be able to autofocus this lens. So as you can see, we can travel back in time 120 years and even give a lens more than a century old autofocus abilities. That's pretty amazing. Uh, so please click on the link down below this video to learn even more about the Pronto lens adapter and check out YouTube. We've uploaded a bunch of different videos showing the Pronto in action with other lenses like Holga lenses, vintage lenses from the 50s, newer lenses than that. Basically, any lens you attach will have autofocus uh, abilities in just a few seconds. So click on the link down below to learn more. And don't forget to click right here to subscribe. You can get more videos just like this one. My name is Bahush. Thanks for watching. Thank you.